So today we're going to do something different. We're going to dance a, a bit, uh, practice a few steps. Now, if you're not a great dancer, don't worry. My dancing, well, especially without alcohol, is something you probably don't want to see. Uh, but these steps help my golf a lot. And I think it's especially good for you, uh, the beginner golfer, because it'll teach you sequencing. That's just a fancy word with, for starting the dancing with a lower body, working from the bottom up. It'll improve your coordination. It'll get you transferring your weight and it will help you to automatically rotate your hips. I'll start with probably the easiest and this one's great for weight transfer. All you've got to do is make a backswing and while you're making your backswing lift your left foot. Okay that's the first part and then swing down and lift your right foot and try and stay balanced on your left foot until the ball lands. That looks pretty easy but you can have to practice it a few times. But this is really great because if you can get your weight on the right foot uh, during the backswing, you'll transfer your weight automatically on the left side. When you do this exercise, don't sway your head. Your, your spine stays slightly tilted to the right during the whole movement. Okay, so don't sway too much. Exercise number two. I love this exercise. And what you've got to do is play the ball forwards in your stance and then make your backswing. Now from here, the first thing you're going to do, or you should do, is move your left foot or your front foot, if you're left-hander, to the left. Um, but look what I'm doing. I'm not just doing that. I'm opening my foot at the same time, which is helping a turn. It really gives you a sense of starting the lower body. Uh, I find when I practice it, this, I don't do this, I don't shift my hips, I transfer and turn and that's exactly what we want to do. And then it gen generates power, real, real power. Try when you're making this move to keep your butt stuck out and your head forwards. Okay. So let me aim for that red marker, ball forward in the stance. I'm going to keep my head forward, make my back swing. Oh, I felt so, so nice. The timing is very important. Now, when did I make that step? I started stepping to the left before I ended my back swing. And that's what you'll see with professionals and really good amateurs. You'll see that their weight transfer is really early to the left. Okay, this last little exercise is really, really good for the rotation. And it's got to do with the downswing and the through swing. When you start your downswing, lift your right heel as far as you can off the ground. And at the same time, lift your left the, the toes of your left foot upwards okay so i want to do it like that this helps me to really turn to be in a in an open position in impact the the more open you can become in your lower body the easier the swing is most most players most amateurs over handicap 10 um, have their stomachs pointing towards the ball then they have to manipulate too much with their hands and arms and it stops me this is the reason I do it so much it stops me from doing this move do the first few swings nice and slowly and you'll really feel yourself rotate Again, make sure your head stays forward and your bum stuck out. Think of right butt cheek pointing out on the backswing, left butt cheek pointing out 
in the through swing. One more time. Suck. Thanks for all the interest you've shown in my channel until now. It is growing and it makes me really happy because I can help you. See you.